you know, I, I got pregnant my senior year in 2007, and I had my daughter, and we lived with my mom for the first two years, and then I bought a house because it was cheaper to buy a house than it was to rent, mm -hmm. and um, I got a job um, here in Macomb, and it my job was enough to pay all of my bills, and then, you know, gas started going up, and your power bill started going up, and then it just got a little excessive, and... Um, so I got a second job, and um, that was helping me out. And but I was still kind of struggling. You know, we both had the medical card. I have insurance through my employer, mm -hmm. but um, unfortunately, I was only able to get insurance for myself because a family insurance was going to be too much. I couldn't pay my bills and pay for family insurance. Yeah. So um, we got that, and then once bills started get, getting higher, um, I had to get the link card because I just didn't have enough money for groceries and um, so I got that and then I had the opportunity to get a second job and when I reported my second job they took me off of the link card and it kind of defeated the purpose of having a second job because I needed that second job to pay the bills that I had. Um, the only I never wanted to be on the link card. I didn't mind having the medical card because we don't, I mean, we don't, we only use it for like our, her yearly checkups. I never really use it, maybe once a year. Mm -hmm. um, never wanted to be on assistance, but when you need it, you need it. And I think that someone like me who's a student, who works two jobs, who has a family to support, you know, I, I think I'm one of those that deserves to have it. And I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot from it, you know, just enough to help out, and so I have it. Yeah. And when you say it kind of defeats the purpose of having the second job, explain what you're talking about. Well, I got the second job to help catch up on bills that I was getting behind on that I wasn't able to afford with just one job. Mm -hmm. So I got the second job, and then when I reported having my second job, it put me $35 over the limit for having the link card. and. Um, <laughs> I mean, so without having the link card and having two jobs, mm -hmm. I might as well just go, go on back to having one job and having the link card because my second job is only, I mean, it's not a full-time, it's barely a part-time job. Mm -hmm. It's just a few hours. And there's no point in having no link card and a second job when my second job is just going to go to barely pay for the groceries. I mean, my paycheck for the groceries for my second job would be less than I get on the link card. Since going on the link card, do you feel like people look at you differently, the ones that know, whether it's a grocery store? Well, um, as I told you, I've been on the link card for a little over a year, and only very close family members and friends know about it, because it is embarrassing. I mean, I don't want to ask for help from anybody. I grew up in a family where you work hard for what you get. And I never wanted to ask for help for anything, but I needed it. And so, yeah, when I go to the grocery store and I ring it through the credit card machine, I hold my fingers over it so people don't, you know, say it's a link card. And I didn't tell anybody about it. But after going to the public aid office in Macomb this last week and being treated so horribly, I decided enough. That, that The system of public aid was designed for people like me, people that work, people that go to school, people that need help. Their mission statement says that they're there for support to help gain stability in your life. Mm -hmm. That stability is what I need to use while I'm going through school until I can get a job where I can financially afford everything on my own. And going there, just, they treated me so horribly. You know, they just talked down to you like, just so horribly. What do you think their reasoning for that is? I think that they, they've become jaded by people that do abuse the system, people that don't work and expect to get things from the state, people that abuse I mean, there are people that abuse it. Everyone knows that there's people that abuse it. And I think they get jaded by those people that have a sense of entitlement. But that doesn't mean that they have to treat everybody the same. There are people that are different. There's people that need it, people that use it for what it was designed for. and. I don't think I need to be treated like someone that just walks off the street and expects to get something for nothing. I pay my taxes. You know, it comes out, taxes come out of my paycheck. I pay property taxes. 
<laughs> I mean, I just don't think that I should be treated the way I do because I need help. Yeah. So. Where do you see yourself in a couple of years? Hopefully, um, I will be done. I'm going to school for nursing, so hopefully, I'll be done with school and have a nice, stable job, and <sighs> it'll be nice. <laughs> an off yes, an off the link card, off the medical card. You know, if I get a job as a nurse, it'll be enough to where I can pay for family insurance, and we won't need the medical card. We won't need a link card. You know, we won't need that.